Fellow Lions, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. First and foremost, I'd like to thank and welcome all of you for attending today's seminar on the topic pathetic cancer. In Singapore, about 100 new cases of cancer are diagnosed in children every year. From approximately 93 per million every year from year 1968 to 1977, Childhood cancer incident in Singapore rose to 101.5 per million each year from 2003 to 2007. And it is an increasing figure despite all the later development we have witnessed in cancer treatments. However, Singapore is not a unique case. Similar trends have been in other developed country nations such as United Kingdom and USA. Well, for adults, it is known that cancer rates have thrived in part by the increasing number of lifestyle factors and disease such as smoking, excessive drinking, obesity, and diabetics. These are not likely to be factored in children's cancer risk. Indeed, there are currently no firm conclusions on why childhood cancer occurs. Among the common type of cancer seen in children, leukemia is the most common, accounting for about 40% of all newly diagnosed diagnosed childhood cancer cases in Singapore. Its incidence has also been increasing. Among boys, figure increased from 3.5 per 100 each year for the period of 1978 to 1982 to 71, 7.1% per 100 for the period of 2008 to 20. 12. In girls, the incidence increased over the 30 years period or about 80%. Beyond leukemia, other common forms of cancer include brain tumor, lymphoma, eyes and bone tumors. On the brightest note, children seem to respond better to cancer treatment than adults. In the absence of other adults' complications like diabetic and heart disease, rapid advances in medical technology have also enabled us patients in Singapore to undergo treatment. With lesser side effects and to increase their chance of survival. Over 7 to 10 children with cancer are long-term survivors. Further to advance in medical technology advance in stem cell transplant method have also helped to save lives. Major challenges of childhood cancer is managing the side effect of the treatment. It is heartbreaking to see little souls suffering from hair losses, nauseous, and pounding headache. Treatment like intensive chemotherapy can also cause damage to organs like the heart, skin, and brain, which may result in long-term complications. The child will likely experience fear, pain, and maybe even anger during treatment. A lot of support from caregivers is needed to help the child to go through this difficult time. We also need to ensure eating well to conquer this illness. Well-being of children is utmost important to every parent. 
We want the best of our children and for them to grow up healthy and strong and to be able to help our children as they better against disease. Today, we have with us four distinguished medical experts, knowledge, who will share with us valuable knowledge on various aspects of childhood cancer. Our speakers will tackle diverse topics that range from facts and minds about childhood cancer, bone, tissue cancer, to nutritional tips for children with cancer. And we have for we have not forgotten about the caregiver idols who serve a very important role in helping the children to recover. The seminar concludes with a talk on managing caregivers. Psychology area stress by end of today's seminars, it is my sincere hope that every one of us will go back with the rich abundance of knowledge that will enable us to better manage this disease. Thank you very much.